Hi everybody, uh, welcome to MIT. My name is Kelvin from the Diploma of uh, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Um, today I'm going to bring you through on how to make a suppository by hand. Um, so before I start, this is what you need, but uh, just, just some important messages. Uh, safety first, alright? So make sure that you're well protected, so gloves on. And then remember to pro protect your most important assets, your pair of eyes. So, safety glasses on as well. Okay, so, uh, some basic equipments that we need. Uh, your heat plate, so again, safety first, be careful. We are dealing with uh, very hot uh, uh, steam as well. Um, your ingredients, so for today, we are going to be making a copper sulfate suppository, which I'll explain later. So, ingredients here, um, some water and pesto, uh, glass slabs, okay, stirring rods, and uh, your beakers as well. All right. So uh, first of all, just a bit on the ingredients. Copper sulfate suppositories. The um, formulas are here. All you need is two percent copper sulfate. Uh, then your fibroma oil, which is also known as cocoa butter, uh, ninety-eight percent, which makes up the hundred percent of the formula. So say for example, if we are going to make ten grams of uh, uh, suppository mix, you need two grams of uh, sorry, zero point two grams of your uh, copper sulfate and then uh, 9.8 grams of uh, ubroma oil. Alright, so uh, just very quickly, the suppository itself has got no therapeutic use. Alright, so the reason we uh, use copper sulfate is to actually test your skill, skills so that we can see how well you make your suppository. Okay, so with copper sulfate, as you can see here, it's the blue powder. Um, it's still relatively fine, but then uh, uh, to make nice and smooth suppositories, what we're going to do is to make it uh, just decrease the particle size a little bit more. So uh, first of all, you just get some of your copper sulfate and then grind it down. And you should be able to observe that there's a slight color change. Just then it was a, a lighter blue, lighter shade of blue. And once you actually reduce it in size, you can see that it's a lighter blue in color. All right, so now we are getting a, a, a fine powder. All right, it is at this point that you start weighing your ingredients. Always remember, point number one is to reduce your particle size, then weigh your ingredients for accuracy. The next ingredient we have is uh, theobroma oil, or we call it cocoa butter. It comes in uh, this sort of uh, quite big chunk. So what we need to do first is actually to grind it down to find the particles like about this fine here. See, this is uh, sort of half grinded down, still relatively big pieces. Now, the reason is uh, there's no particular reason other than to make sure that there's even heating later when we are going to melt it down. If uh, you actually have big pieces, the big pieces will not melt that fast, whereas the smaller pieces will melt and create a, a situation where there's uneven heating. So, uh, this is what we do. We just quickly pound it down. Alright, there's no need to make sure that it's pulverized, but just in quite small particles rather than the big chunks again. Alright, now that we've prepared our ingredient, the next step is to uh, weigh the ingredients up accurately. And then once you weigh it up, uh, we are going to start making the suppository. So first step is to melt your diploma oil inside the water bath. Uh, do not use direct heat because you run the risk of uh, overheating the suppository, uh, the suppository base and uh, it will not solidify again later. So when you're ready to start, just transfer all your diploma oil inside a smaller beaker and you're ready to, ready to heat it up. Immerse the smaller beaker into the hot water bath and then just uh, stir by stirring it gently, it will start to melt, forming a sort of oily mess. Alright, at this point of uh, uh, the experiment, just be very careful not to overheat it because uh, we, uh, the aroma oil has this little bit of problem when it overheats and it will not solidify later. Okay, so um, basically to control the heating, all you need to do is you just uh, occasionally take it out of the water bath and continue stirring. The heat will be transferred into the smaller uh, uh, beaker so you don't have to keep 
your uh, small beaker inside the water bath all the time. So the end point of it is when the the aroma oil is still uh, it's, it's liquid but it's quite cloudy as you can see it's a translucent kind of a, a liquid all right um, and do not heat it to the point where it becomes transparent golden like your cooking oil kind of appearance um, that is a sign that your uh, the aroma oil has overheated The next step of the uh, preparation is to incorporate the uh, ingredient, the active ingredient into the suppository base. So what we need to do is to put all the copper sulfate onto a glass lab. And then with a little bit, a tiny amount of uh, the aroma oil, you mix the ingredient in. Now this is a quite in, an important step to make sure that, uh, that if there's any uh, big particles you actually smoothen it out. So you keep mixing until you don't see any big uh, particles inside. Alright, if need to, use a second spatula, scrape everything down again. Bring all your ingredients into the middle of this um, glass lab. And if you're happy with what you're getting, no big particles, then you scrape everything and mix it into the beaker of the aroma oil. Alright, just a word of caution, make sure that you've got all your ingredients in. Your slab and your spatula should be relatively clean. And once you've got your uh, active ingredient in there, you need to mix it in with your aroma oil. Alright, so with all your ingredients in here, what you need to do is uh, gently stir it in. And you will see that your aroma oil will turn cloudy and blue as well. Okay. Making sure that the crystals, the copper sulfate crystals is uh, well suspended inside the, the aroma oil. Now, um, this is not, uh, we, what we need to do is to let it solidify just slightly to uh, let it form a sticky mixture. Once that, is hap that has happened, then you start to pour uh, inside the suppository mold to avoid um, uh, settling of the copper sulfate inside the suppository mold, which will give you a, a um, uh, suppository with two colors and that's uh, not very good. So now we need to pour the suppositories while gently stirring. You just pour the suppository in, filling up the mold and remember to overfill it, overfill the suppository molds. And once you have uh, filled all your suppository molds, uh, leave it inside the fridge to solidify. So the next step is to trim off the suppositories to get it uh, into a nice uh, uh, flat suppository uh, at the end. So what you need to do is you just, just use a, uh, a spatula and gently scrape the top of it. Scrape off the excess. All right. It's 
so it's actually a flat top flat uh, at the top here and discarding the rest of the oil suppository mixture Now once you trim your suppositories, uh, you are, they are ready to be taken out of the mold. Notice that I've actually taken out my uh, gloves because the experiment is, has finished. So what you need to do is you cut them in, in individually and then you pull the end, uh, taking out the suppository like that. So this is a, a completed suppository. Try not to handle it too much because your body heat will start to uh, melt the suppository. Alright, so just keep going and peel all your suppositories off. And that's it, you have your blue flying bullets.